again, the holy grail in orthopedics is to regrow cartilage in areas where you have cartilage damage. Dr. Saw in 2008 began to develop a technique of micro drilling in the knee coupled with injection of peripheral blood stem cells. He discovered that when that was done in conjunction with hyaluronic acid injections, that the tissue that would form was much more similar to hyaline cartilage than what could normally be found. Because of that, that allowed him to treat what are called bipolar lesions, where you have two areas of damage rubbing on each other. I've made several trips to Dr. Saul in Malaysia to learn his technique. Now, Dr. Saul is using peripheral blood stem cells that he extracts from a patient after giving them an injection of a drug called Neupogen. That drug releases the stem cells from the bone marrow into the blood where they can be harvested with a special machine. Before that drug came about, around 20 years ago, when a patient needed to have a bone marrow transplant, the physician would take a large bore needle and aspirate massive amounts of bone marrow from various locations in the body. That bone marrow would be, then be frozen and it could be given back to the patient later. So when Neupogen came out, they didn't have to do that anymore. It was a lot easier on the patients and that's what Dr. Saul is doing. Now, the FDA, however, will not let us in the U.S. take peripheral blood stem cells and give them back into the knee. You can only take them from the blood and give them back in the blood. You can't take them from the blood and give them back in a different body part like the knee or the hip. That's, that's called non-homologous use. So we're having to do things the way they used to have to do it 20 years ago before Neupogen came out. We're having to take fresh cells from the marrow each time and inject them in, into the joint. And doing it that way complies with FDA regulations.